What's up guys? Welcome to Japan. I've had really bad luck so far. My rental car uh, didn't work out because I didn't have the right international permit uh, to drive. There are several different types of international driving permits here and uh, I didn't get the right one. So I'm trying to scramble around trying to get that. So I've had to get a taxi to a random hotel so I could figure out what I'm doing. But in the meantime, I figured I'd check out some abandoned places nearby, and this is one of them. So guys, this is a very famous abandoned love motel, and uh, it's famous for the fact that most people know about it. Uh, it's got the famous statue of the, of the knight in one of the bedrooms. It is rainy season right now in Japan, so it is like monsoon weather going on behind me. But uh, let's make do with what we have, and let's get started. This is one of the bedrooms that has falling apart over the years as we're literally looking outside right now. <laughs> so even though this place has fallen apart, it still has some pretty untouched kind of rooms. So each of these uh, rooms in this love motel had a different theme and different pictures or paintings above the bed and stuff. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen an old telephone like this, not in real life. This is pretty amazing, guys. So this one room is actually quite large. It's a pretty big one. They got its own urinal. And toilets back there. Still got all the stuff left, the cups, all the soaps. This is why this is an amazing find, because there's all the stuff left behind. So a lot of these rooms have unfortunately not stood the test of time nature-wise. A lot of their roofs, most of the roof is leaking in most of the rooms. So who knows, maybe in like a year or so this whole place might be just crumpled down to the ground by nature. So I'm glad I'm here now.
I like that a lot of stuff is left though, like some of these old teapots. It's all left. So this hallway looks like something out of like Jumanji or the apocalypse. It was hit hard by the rain and the weather. The roofs couldn't really take it much longer. So a lot of rain and snow has come down into the hallway and the rooms. Well guys, the main attraction, the main room that this abandoned love motel is famous for is is falling apart so bad if i was here like a year or two ago it would look way better but you know what i'm here now i'll show you what it looks like but it is falling apart pretty bad unfortunately the floor is caving in <laughs> if you saw a pic you've probably seen pictures of this place and it looks pristine well, those pictures must have been like four years ago because now, it's 2019, it's pretty falling apart. Uh, but before we get to the room, I just found this kind of place card and it shows all the available rooms that they had here and each one had its different style, which is pretty cool. The one we're about to walk into is this one, or my finger is pointing. That's the one we're about to walk into, and you can tell how much it's changed. How cool does that look? I'm getting rained on really bad through the roof, but this is insane, guys. Look at this. This was like the royal statue room. I honestly can say that I don't think I've seen so much natural devastation by nature and so much just beauty in one abandoned place. And most of you who like abandoned places can kind of tell what I mean by beauty. Like all the stuff is left behind here and it looks amazing. And I think those who know abandoned stuff can tell what I mean. Um, but there's so much natural decay that this place is, you know, falling apart pretty bad, but it still looks cool. So I hope you guys know what I mean. Well guys, I think I found the jungle room.
This looks like it was a little like rock garden. Maybe had a little stream coming through here. This looks pretty amazing though. Imagine staying in this as a hotel room. It's got this little door like you would see in like a saloon or something. I still cannot believe that literally all this stuff is left. All the cups, all the utensils, pretty much everything. It is mind boggling, guys. You can kind of tell what era this hotel closed down in. There's all these old school telephones and obviously old TVs. But yeah, this, this is kind of what I'm dealing with, guys, are all these old floors. Some are not safe to walk on, so it's got to be very, very, very careful. I found a lot of these old household slippers, too. They're kind of meant for, like, the bathroom only, as uh, it's designated WC for water closet. As we're standing in pretty much the bathroom right here. Half the rooms are so badly decayed by the rain and just, you know, over time that uh, the roofs are falling in and so it's just hard to explore around here. And uh, so half of the rooms are pretty much like that and so it's just hard to really even show them, let alone uh, they're so badly damaged it's not even worth showing you. So I'll try to show you the ones that are in somewhat decent condition left. Um, there's like a no whole nother section of these rooms, but you have to go outside to come back in. And I don't even know if I can get to the other part of that building. So if I can't, then unfortunately that means that I'm ending the video now. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this first installment of the Japan series. There's a ton more abandoned stuff coming up. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned. You guys are gonna be amazed at some of the spots that I found. So stay tuned guys, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to live, explore, and travel.